This video will show you how to measure the radial pulse in respirations. Wash your hands and introduce yourself. Verify your patient. You will be obtaining your patient's heart rate, also known as pulse, from their wrist in a location called the radial artery. The radial artery is a major artery in the human forearm. It is close to the surface of the underside of the forearm. The radial artery is located on the thumb side. You can obtain the pulse by feeling the lub-dub here in the radial artery. To feel the pulse, you will want to turn one hand over so it is palm side up. Use the other hand to place two fingertips gently in the groove of the forearm down from the fold of the wrist and about one inch along from the base of the thumb. When the position is right, you should feel the pulsation of the heartbeat. You may have to apply more pressure on some patients to feel the pulse. If you're new to this, an easy way to do this is to use your watch or your office clock. Focus on the 12, 3, 6, and 9. Once you feel the pulse in the radial artery, what you'll want to do is begin counting. Now remember, you're feeling instead of listening, so you're feeling for the lub-dub. The lub-dub feeling will be equal to one beat per minute. If you start counting now at the six, you will want to wait until you get to the six again, which would equal to 60 seconds. Take your time and focus while you're feeling for the heart rate on the radial artery. If you make a mistake, start all over. It is always best to take your time to ensure that you have the proper heart rate for your patient. A normal heart rate for a normal healthy adult is typically between 60 to 100 beats per minute. Once you have your patient's heart rate, make sure that you document it. Respiratory rate is the number of breaths you take per minute. The normal respiration rates can vary, but typically for an adult that is healthy at rest is 12 to 20 breaths per minute. However, these breaths per minute do vary. One breath is considered to be one inhaling and also exhaling. So inhaling and exhaling together is equal to one breath. There are many ways to get your patient's respiration. One way is to have them place their arm across their chest and simply watch them breathe. Remember, you want to watch them breathe in and out to equal one breath. Make sure to time your respirations in 60 seconds. Wash your hands and document all of your readings.